people of America have rights to be different things to different people at different stages and ages of a lifetime. There's always an arrogant older brother who feels he has the right to say, I've known you all my life, when he has never actually spent any motherfucking time of any great length or period of time interacting with someone that he claims to have known all his life. The liar will stand in a court of law to abuse someone because at the late stages of his parents' life, it may benefit him and be a benefactor to him. And isn't it interesting that a financial guarantor, not at all, but a financial additional power of attorney might do that to a sibling when he should have done nothing at all? And isn't it interesting that a sibling who is jealous all the time of her father's love to someone continued to interact in a courtroom that she had no right to be in at all? You see, being a biological sibling means that you are a third-party person to a man that had a spouse, whether she was a live-in, whether she was an international citizen, or whether she was totally, in some people's mind, legitimate. We absolutely know that there's something called common law marriage, and it doesn't really matter the other aspects of the legalities of that. We all know the famous case of how Tom Cruise dumped his wife, Nicole Kidman, right before the finalization of their common law marriage, or whatever you might call it back then. I can't remember exactly, but it certainly made the splash of the news embarrassing people, but thank God she went on to someone better for her, in theory, or at least on paper, or at least in the news. What I'm talking about, of course, is the immoralness of siblings who, towards the late stages of a man's life, will start to lie to police officers, deny someone access who's honest, and openly start to completely harass a person's mental health and medical health without true right but they get to engage police officers who are illegal, immoral, and the stealing type who don't give a shit because at any time they can go in with an ombudsman and take the entire estate. Wouldn't that be a shame to happen to your family, and wouldn't that be a marvelous way to produce a movie? But let's talk about it. When a man has lived overseas, his property and his goods might be interesting to a young policeman who hasn't done anything else in his fucking life but shuffle papers do reports and piss on people in a community for speeding. The truth is he might have a great benefits package that might be a super pension, but my guess is he hasn't spent his time doing his things correctly. In life, often military officers leave the military and think, what do I do now? And they go into police departments and they fuck the entire community because they forget three important things that not only do they work for their immediate supervisors, but they actually serve the mayors of the community in a way they can fuck themselves and fuck the election for that mayor. On top of that, we have the truth that they work for the judicial department, which is supposed to have a cross-the-board understanding of the laws of America that says you don't have the right to commandeer someone's property without giving them some sort of release tag that proves you have it, like a Fisher's policeman did to me who took my faith fob which is sort of like a rosary beads to someone like me, and never returned it. It was of the Holy Ghost, and on a chain, and he took it from me, and never returned it. At the same time, he was trying to lock my property into a totally different storage unit so he could have access, and I said, no, we're going to put this card of mine and this stuff of mine in my own unit. But then they had access to my keys, didn't they? So the lie that we have in that regard is a violation of federal law that says you don't have the right to commandeer any property. The additional lie was that they didn't have the right to commandeer a business licensed vehicle and they didn't have the lawful right under federal law to put an impound at all. And siblings lied about who they were in identity theft and went into that vehicle to fuck around with jewelry property that was for my faith and my business, or maybe the policeman of Indianapolis, Marion County, did that. And at some point, when we do try to send the FBI in to investigate, what we have is improper procedure because the whole reason that man was being harassed was because he went to the building to do networking to find out who to talk to about the police harassment in his home, and he couldn't end up doing that because the man that he actually ran into physically tapping with his vehicle fled the scene and then pulled a gun on him. So let's go back to the facts, shall we? The liars of America exist in every profession, but here's the deal. 
at the end of the day, each of those legislative bodies that are really a part of the judicial branch report to the president at the end of the day. And even saying this can mark a man for life, and even playing this can tell police officers off. But the reality is that their lies of impacting a human life, of mobbing, has been going across and happening across six motherfucking state lines to the point that is totally wholly federal, but none of those people had the right to access any of his medical or medical health property in terms of his records. And that's where we have a real problem today.